This is training module 27, change management. And what we're looking here for as an outcome is to increase your staff's ability to change and continue changing. Remember, change happens, people react to change, but change is inevitable. How we manage and control it is very, very important. Now, this research comes from Kubler-Ross's work on grief with death and dying. And the process as you walk through this, the five stages of grief are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And in the change management structure, what we've done is we've included in the research the other pieces that go in this line. And notice the self-esteem line that goes up and down, and then notice the transitions as you go from mobilize to move to sustain, ending, neutral, and beginning. And across the bottom, we've put what the leader needs to be doing during these periods of time, and so you can track it from left to right, emotions through the process. Now, change management is a structured approach for ensuring that changes are thoroughly and smoothly implemented and that there's a benefit from the change. Whenever there's a change and there's no perceived benefit, that change will consistently be resisted. You know, what we're trying to do as leaders is help people understand that there's a goal we're moving toward. There's a better place we're, we're heading. That's all part of the vision and the journey that we're on. But in the process, understand that people are going to go through these stages. So take some time and familiarize yourself with that and allow your staff to identify some of the changing times in their lives. And they can plug in these emotions in terms of what took place. So this is one good model on helping your staff understand change. And if you are faced with a change as an agency or an organization, go through this with your staff so they know it's okay to have some of these emotions and you can process them together as you move through the change that you're facing. Now, Lewin's model is, is a similar model, but it's based on three simple things to remember, unfreezing, change, and refreezing. So the unfreeze part is I've got to reduce the forces that are trying to make sure status quo stays where it is. And I've got to unfreeze the situation. I've got to upset the situation. Change typically doesn't occur unless, unless there's a high degree of discomfort. That's the unfreezing model. The transition or the change is developing the new behaviors, values, attitudes, all the things that have to go through. And there's a period of time there. And then it has to be refrozen. Freezing is the process of putting the new behaviors in place so they can take the place of the previous behaviors. It's a simple little model. Time, notice, goes on the vertical axis. And when you're looking at this, you're simply, what do we, what do we need to unfreeze? What's the process of change or transition? And then how are we going to refreeze the process? This is what takes place in the life of a client when you're doing a case plan. There's unfreezing, there's change, there's refreezing. So the application is not only with your staff, but it's also with your clients and how you process. So here's two models of change, how, how you can help your staff just understand it. And the more your staff understands that there are things that are happening in them and in your agency during times of change, the easier it is for you to move those changes to new situations. So this is the process, and I hope this helps you get your staff to the point that they understand that change is good.